Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our series on Kathy. Now, one of the nice things about Kathy is that uh, you get some nice configuration uh, out of the box. But what I wanted to show you is that you can actually also configure a little bit more. So in this section, I wanted to show you how you can configure the index page. So if we go to here and to Kathy, you'll see that we have our context already that it picked up by itself and our uh, posts table. Now, the one thing about this is that although we have our posts over here, um, I wanted to change this a bit because uh, the thing about IDs, I mean, you just don't really care about IDs so much. And also, uh, you know, publish, of course, is important. Uh, but this inserted ad and updated ad, if you ask somebody, you know, what does it mean by inserted ad? What does it mean by updated ad? It doesn't really, you know, make a lot of sense to people. So I want to show you guys how you can, can actually update this and make it make a little bit more sense. And also I'll show you how you can also change some custom formatting. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go back to your configuration. And on here, you can actually change and add in uh, how your cafe looks. And one of those ways is that you can specify the resources themselves. So I'm going to specify our resources. And this one just takes a keyword list. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and format my code so that way it looks a little bit nicer. And within here, uh, you can say, okay, I have my blog context, if you guys remember from before. Within my blog context, I have some resources. And one of them is, of course, is the post. And this is where, where everything gets more sp specific, is that you have to actually say which schema you're going to use. And so this one's just the name of that uh, file. So that, of course, would be Kathy Demo Blog Post. And if we want to change, you know, how we do things, we need to also specify an admin module. So that one's just admin. And I'm going to call this one Kathy Demo Web dot Kathy dot uh, post admin. And now over here, I'm going to make a Kathy folder. And of course, make a post admin file. It's Kathy demo web dot dot post admin. And that's all we need to do at this current stage. And because we edited the configuration file, uh, this one over here, we have to actually reload our Phoenix uh, application. And now if you go over here, you'll see basically everything looks about the same, no difference, right? So to start making changes, what we need to do is we need to go back to our cafe post admin and we can create a simple index function and it takes uh, the con, we don't really care about that at this moment, and we have to turn a keyword list. So now if I do this, you'll see everything is gone. Uh, so some things, now you can start to actually configure what you want to show, right? So we want to show the title. And for the title, uh, we don't have any special configuration, so if in that case you just put in nil, and you'll see that comes up. And so there's our title. And you see uh, the first thing you specify will be what the linking is. So that's why that this one is set for the link. Uh, what else we need, of course, is the body. Again, nothing. And then finally, we need to get the uh, is published, I believe. So there we go. Or actually, maybe that one's called published. Let me just double check that. Oh, sorry, it's published. I was wondering why I was not missing. So there we go. That's good enough for right now. Um, now, here's what I wanted to show you is, like in this case now, I wanted to actually uh, change the inserted at. 
And for this one, you can do some of the things like you can actually give it a different name. So I can say for this one, let's say it's uh, created at a little bit more clear. And you can see this one shows up just fine. Uh, now to actually format the date time, I'm going to actually pull in a special library, and that's the Timex library. It's very great at times. So over here, we just look for Timex, and let's look for anything at 3.6, which should be about the latest. And so finally, we do next steps git. There we go. And if you want to actually change uh, how you represent something, you can use there's a value over here, and this is actually a function you can pass in. And whatever you pass out over here will actually be uh, coming out onto the form. So if I make a private function called format date time, and I pass in a date time, and I use timex to format, pass in the date time, and I could do something like the year, the month, and the day. And then we can say, okay, give me uh, 24 hours, and of course, the minutes. And so over here, I can put in format daytime, pass in the inserted at. So now if I go back, oop, I actually have to turn on the server this time. So now, you'll see I have my nicely dated format and it's called created that and everything else will still work just fine because I named this one just fine. So that's how you can start to customize your Cafe Adindex page. Uh, there's gonna be some more things I'm gonna show you guys how to do in coming episodes. So stick around, please subscribe if you haven't. This is Alan from Plangora. I'll catch you guys next time, thanks. Hi, please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai, ge duk man all. Yo wenti, ji da wen wo.